Yo, what's up? This is your boy Raw coming at you, Raw. Um, I have an episode four coming at you from Game and Talk Podcast, and I have a guest today. But first, let me introduce um, my brother from another mother, Fresh, who has been with me ever since gaming episode one. So, Fresh, how you doing? What's going on, everybody? <sighs> In this gaming industry, you already know what it is. Did you just Trust say best? Gamer. We back. Mm-hmm. We back with episode. What is this? Five. Episode four. I just four. said four. <laughs> <laughs> episode okay. four. Okay. Glad to be back up in here. It's All right. Fun. All right. Good. 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 That's good. All right. Now let's introduce uh, first time guest on the show, uh, brother Pixel. Talk to the people. Tell them what what's up. Pixels, the king of PlayStation. Oh, that's the best. Oh no, he didn't do it. <laughs> he did it, fresh. The king of play- Oh, well, what? Shoot, hey, gonna gonna have to uh, come after him now. I am the best. Like, like, what, I don't know, man. What, shoot, hey, though. Phil Spencer? Oh, let me say this. That man, an OG. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, he is. We yeah, OG. No, I don't know if we will. On, on, on the Twitter thing? Mm, yeah. No, when he when he said freaking, if you if you you know don't have internet connection, we have a product called an Xbox 360. Like <laughs> he told us uh, on Twitter when he not that's Don Magic. You talking about uh? Oh, Magic, who? He told Crack. Oh, Magic. I said. He t- <laughs> Oh, you talking about no Dimetric? Oh, oh I thought that what you said. I thought that was you said yeah, Dimetric. He said, he said, why would you? He said, why would you cancel your, cancel your pre-order just because everybody else is getting it? He said that's selfish. Yeah, that's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Speaking about pre-ordering, <laughs> let me say this. Speaking about pre-ordering, we're, we're gonna touch on that a little later too. But before we get too deep in, please like, comment, and subscribe for more gaming news from console to PC and also mobile tablets and phones um please uh check out my other boys channels pixels and fresh i'm gonna leave their channels to link to their channels in the description below and support us doing this you know be on this journey with us all right now moving to the first topic because now actually i want to just i want to i just want to say this last week's uh, episode got canceled because my mom's on Friday got rushed to the hospital and I couldn't really do anything. Um, it was for our heart and everything's good now. All right, thank you, Lord. Every everything's good now. Um, she's out of the hospital and 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 we're doing episode four. We couldn't do it last week because of that. So forgive us, viewers. Um, if you were like, what happened? So anyway, um, on, glad. I- Whoa! I need to say I, something right now on that on that uh, note. That, yeah, the same thing happened to my mom last week. Wow! Literally, that's like, crazy. Literally, that's weird. That's, that's crazy. Saying. Yeah, man. Is, is she yeah. out now? Is she is she good? Yeah, she good. Yeah. Oh, she good, 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 good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I just wanted to get that out the way to let the people know that this is going to be a weekly thing. We're gonna re- we're gonna record this um, Saturday morning, if not throughout the day Saturday depending on how people's schedule are and post this Sunday morning so expect gaming talk every week you know that's what our goal is to hit all right and moving forward going to the actual news um <laughs> I'm gonna keep on saying hold on because I keep on forgetting <laughs> the first thing before we get on news we have to introduce our boy pixel this is his, his, his first time on gaming talk pixel I want you to tell the people all right um what you do on your channel as well as tell the people uh like we the question was um off mic why did you get ps4 over xbox one what is your gaming history you know just tell the people briefly who you are well i only do playstation mostly and um yeah i chose it because it was just a better console oh he said it first yeah well you chose right Oh, it's so fresh. Come on, man. Our viewers vary good. from good. Nintendo and Xbox also, okay? Understandable. I mean, Xbox, man, Xbox, Xbox man. is good. Xbox is good, but there's no games to play. Oh, man. Oh, okay, okay. Fired. Let me say this. Let me say this. <laughs> we're going to actually get <laughs> into that later. And I've been saying this all throughout the pod. We're going to get into that later. But, uh, Pixel, tell the people... Um, Tell the people, right, uh, like, who, who, if you were to, you know, like, exp- like, uh, you meet someone for the first time, like, tell the people uh, more about yourself, bro. 
Oh, well. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I play PlayStation. <laughs> he said no. He's saying as far as like your content on your channel and like which mm-hmm. like, oh, games you like, which your favorite and stuff like that. Well, it's mostly like Grand Theft Auto. It's like open world games. If it's mm. open world, I'm gonna play it. Mm. So he's gonna be on that Horizon um, fresh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it's more open world, I'm probably gonna play it. <laughs> oh man. All right then. That's good. That's good. And I'm glad to have you on the show, Pixel. Um hope hopefully we have more in the future with you. Um now Yeah, I'll be on every week. Cool, cool. That's awesome. That's um, that's nice. good. Um yeah. All right. All right, y'all. The first topic. The first topic was going to be uh but it, it was a last week topic. Now it's a new week. Um Ubisoft has confirmed the delay for Assassin's Creed. Bungie has confirmed the the uh, sequel to Destiny in 2017, and Ubisoft also has confirmed uh, Watch Dogs 2 coming out. Um, I believe it says next year. Now, first, I want to ask you guys: you know, are you guys excited for? Uh, Assassin's Creed being being delayed. Uh, about Destiny two, and about and and about uh Watch Dogs two. Um, uh, Pixel, I want to hear your opinion on it first. <laughs> All right, Assassin's Creed, I could care less. <sighs> Watch Dogs, I, I wish that came out this year. Yeah. And um, what was the last one? Oh, Destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the day one. Oh, one. let me say this. Let me say this. Fresh. Look. I know you got a love and hate relationship with Destiny. I think a lot of people no, do. No, no, yeah. A lot of people do, and it's okay to have that because I think a lot of fans want that game to be the best that has ever been, you know? And Bungie is like, y'all still play this game? I'm just kidding. They're not saying that. Um, hopefully they're saying we're going to make it better too. But fresh from what I said, what is your opinion on Watch Dogs 2, Assassin's Creed delay, and... You know, Destiny 2. Well, honestly, I'm excited for this, uh, that, except that Assassin's Creed delays because, look, they need a break, man. Mm. Releasing all these games, really releasing, like, five games, like, back-to-back. Like, look, it's good, you know, to be pushing out a lot of content as far as the industry. Like, it, yes. it builds up your resume on your record. But all I'm saying is, like, they need to, they just need to chill. Like, Assassin's yeah. Creed, they need to sit back and, you know, think about what they're going to do next time and, you know, might have an interesting um, setting on the next Assassin's Creed because when I was playing, um, I didn't play Syndicate yet. Unity, I'm not going to lie, I love 3. Unity sits right next to it. That's um, awesome. Watch the Watch Dogs 2. Yeah, so I can't wait till, um the next Assassin's Creed come out. Um, mm. Watch Dogs 2. Um, eh. Uh, <laughs> look. I mean, look, Watch Dogs, they, they, I'm not going to say Watch Dogs 1 wasn't successful, because it was successful, because that that was like a bait. That game was like a bait. We didn't mm. know that it was going to yeah. look like that, you know, day one. So, mm. I, Watch me, Dogs 2, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep, that's that's up in the air with Watch Dogs 2. <laughs> um, fi- but the final thing, listen, I know this might be surprising. Honestly, look, my heart started pumping fast when I seen that Destiny 2. When oh. it says it's released mm. next year, and I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna tell you why. It, look, the listen, you learn from your mistakes. That's all. Mm. Yeah, that's right. You learn from your mistakes. Yeah, and you'll come back even stronger than what you have done before. Um, if you if you do it right, there this 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 second this sequel will probably be better than the uh, original. Mm. Definitely. Mm. I got a question though, but do you think <laughs> they're gonna let's keep our stuff? Yeah, of course, of course. I think, I think, and let me let me say my uh, opinion on everything. And I hit Destiny two. Your Destiny two question. Um, <clears throat> Assassin's Creed, like I said, like Fresh said, I agree with that. Um, uh, game uh, developers, if they if they need to take five years on a, on a title to make it good, do like Rockstar, do like Bethesda. You know, like make your games as as great as they can be see the beautiful thing about rockstar is they make their games like it's the last game they're ever going to make and that's how you're supposed to live yeah. life you know what i mean you're supposed yeah, to live but, like that but uh, yeah but uh, honestly some of these companies some of these companies are a stepping stool for others because w- what games would come out if we they didn't have them you know it would just be dry no it won't no a game come out this year 
and the other developers you know, will get basically triple A titles three times a year. Like instead of having like like fifteen triple A titles come out every year, we'll have about um we'll have about like I said like three if not four triple A titles every year. Each one of them are going to be good. I'd rather have yeah, four great <laughs> games a year than two great games in uh yeah, 14, content, right. 15, 14 other uh games that are trash. And uh speaking of trash, I like I like uh Pixel's uh series uh buy uh rents are trash. <laughs> I, I I think that's oh. a I think that's a cool series. Uh, we were talking about we was talking on Twitter uh, about that series and I'm glad he he's doing that. Pixel, you still doing that yeah. series, right? Good. Yep. Good. Only, thing, like, only game I say is trash is Killzone. Those whoa, trash. whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 whoa! He stepped on our toes, okay, fresh. Sir. He yeah. stepped no, on our it, toes. I, the, it wasn't a multiplayer. It was um. Is that story? I couldn't get into. Oh, it. oh, oh no, let me say this: the I story. This the fifth, you're the fifth person that said that. I don't know. I don't know why people don't like Killzone, dog. I I understand like, every Halo game. Two, Halo, Halo was trash. Oh no. Yeah, Halo Five. Halo Five. Oh, fresh, fresh. Oh, okay. We can't be mad. We we okay. we. Oh, Halo Five. Oh, I'm about to say. I'm about to say. I'm about to say. He just don't have good taste, fresh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Halo 5. Yeah. yeah, let me say yeah, this about Halo Five. Five. Uh, Halo Five, I think is a better Halo because it's going with um. The generation is a better Halo for this generation, but it's not a better Halo um, as the whole franchise required. Because Halo Three, in my opinion, is the best Halo. Uh, I think Halo Five, for it to keep relevant, it had to do what it did. I think Halo Five had to do what it did to stay relevant. These kids, man, they play Call of Duty and stuff. They they don't want Halo Three, you know. They don't want that. Like Halo Three was so epic to me, but there's different gamers in the world. Everyone wants the Call of Duty fix. And that's what Halo 4 oh, feels, yeah. feels and looks yeah, like. Apologies, so I don't like Call of Duty like that. Well, Halo better than Call of Duty. I, I agree. I'm talking about Halo 3 better yeah. than Call of Duty in my opinion. Yeah. But <laughs> all I'm saying is that's that's what I got to say about Halo 5. But going from that, um, I said uh, Assassin's Creed is the delay is good. Watch Dogs 2. I'm excited for that because first, let me say this. Like you said, they learn from their mistakes. And Watch yeah. Dogs 2... They, they they sold so many. Everybody in the grandma who had a next gen console played that game, and I'm of course, um, of course, not everybody played that game, but man, oh, a lot of people did. Two twice. <laughs> oh, no, I said Assassin's Creed delay is good, and then I said Watch Dogs said, Two. You said Watch Dogs Two, they learn from their mistakes, and then you said what? <laughs> no, that's Go what ahead. I mean. Watch Dogs Two, they learn from their mistakes. And then you, you know, said Watch Dogs Two, I'm excited about. It. Well, fresh. If we gotta get politically accurate, I, I just play. I just play. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, Watch Dogs this. Two. I'm excited because of the fact that they can learn from their mistakes of Watch Dogs One. Okay, fresh. I said one. All right. But anyway, uh, graphics. <laughs> man, no, man. It's, it's Watch Dogs. Graphics. It's not even no. that because Watch Dogs One graphics looked good to me. Hold yeah, up, no, no, no. That's listen. I'm sorry, but the, the audio made the graphics bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, the audio the did suck. Bad. The only thing that made that game bad was the um the multiplayer. Not when you had to hack people. I'm talking about like when you when you and your friends got in, you had nothing to do. Let me say this about the uh, multiplayer. Let me say this fresh. We had to make up games. Remember that? We had to make up games in multiplayer. Exactly. It's, it, it's it's sad because that's not that's not okay. It's good if you were able to make up games, but they didn't let us turn off cops. So if we shot a gun, freaking cops would come out of nowhere, oh. and we couldn't do nothing else. Like we had to run away from the cops, so we couldn't even Hold shoot up. each other for fun. This man, all right, look, I, listen. This man been saying turn off cops since like the early times, like we were friends, bro. <laughs> Yeah, like, dude. Literally, like that's been like what two, three years ago. That was yeah. three or four years ago, bro. No good, man. Like, you've been saying that. You turn turn off cops. You can't and crouch on uh, watch dogs. You can't. You can't crouch. You no can't cops. Crouch. No. <laughs> that's why that's Creed Unity is good. They could crouch on that. They had um. You know how they had him on top of a building. You couldn't even climb buildings in the game. Nah, you couldn't. Uh, well, of she course, Aiden. Cops, Aiden ain't no assassin. All right, but. I would have loved to see Aiden, you know, more agile, like you said, climb buildings and such, like jumping. You should be able, you should have been able to jump and watch dogs as well as crouch. And if I you, have been. If you do parkour, that'd be pretty cool. You could do a little bit of parkouring, but anyway, Destiny 2, to answer Pixel's question, uh, 
and he said, he asked me, uh, will you be able to transfer your character, bring over your characters? Uh, I, I, Deej says it, said it in a tweet or on IGN somewhere. He said that you'll be able to do it. And I'm glad he said that because that, that tells me that my character is going to be with me all 10 years of Destiny. And that's the plan they are, they're having for Destiny. Um, my whole thing is they are going to have to deal with the fact that year one weapons are better than year two weapons. And if they want to carry us over to Destiny 2 with our characters, they're going to have to do something with those year one weapons. Because if year one weapons outshine every other weapon that ever comes out, then everybody going to be like, just bring the year ones over. But that's not a true sequel if you're just bringing over everything and not adding new stuff. So my solution right. to that is you're able to bring over your old your old guns and gear, but it'll be in a separate vault. It'll be called like year one vault, you know? And then year two vault can have yeah. all the new stuff. And year one vault, right? Uh, of course, Thorn and Thorn and Gallahorn and all that stuff, uh, 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 Truth, all those stuff, you know, all that stuff is like, oh, wow, that, you know, those amazing weapons. But like, you, they take out in, uh, in, in year, I mean, uh, Destiny 2, you can't use exotics in PvP. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for that, but you can't use exotics, cause that's the only thing people complain about in PvP. Like, oh, last word, oh, thorn, oh, truth, oh, look at this. No one complains about, uh, the legendaries, cause, let me say this, Bungie, I don't mind them nerfing legendaries or balancing legendaries. I don't want them to touch exotics. And the only way to get them from touching exotic weapons is to get the exotics out of the fire. Um, I, I truly believe there should be a game mode where you can only use legendaries or a game mode where you can only use exotics. I, I, I really hope that, um, appears in Destiny 2, if not Destiny 1. But my whole thing is, Pixel, that they're gonna have to figure out a way to keep year one weapons in the past that, but you can still access, but in the past, um, and, and not be able to be overused in year two, uh, or, uh, Destiny 2. That's, but the answer say, Christian, uh, yes. Yes. You know how, um, they need to have, like, cross console. Like, I can take my Hunter and take it on the Xbox, mm. bring it back. Well, that's never going to happen. Let's go to the next subject. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was about to say something about that, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do it because I, I'm. It's gonna be a long time with that one. Gonna, yes, I'm indeed. Yes, time. indeed. But, but look, look, look. We said we 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 talked about the news. Um, yeah. I I I want to uh, change gears now to the next <laughs> subject. And before we get to the next subject, um, everybody who's watching us, uh, please like and comment. Um, letting us know about what's your feelings on the Assassin's Creed delay. What's your feelings about Destiny 2 being announced as well as Watch Dogs 2? Uh, write in the comment section below, please. Now we're moving to the next part of our podcast, which is what are we playing? Um, it's simple as that, you know what I mean? Um, topic of the show, I ain't even... <laughs> hey, that's what I forgot in the beginning. I was supposed to hype up the topic of the show. And, and the topic of the show is it, it simply... Uh, does graphics matter or make a game realistic? Um, we're going to get to that, but the middle uh, topic is what are you playing right now? Um, Pixel, uh, tell the people what are you playing right now? <laughs> and uh, if your backlog is ridiculous. All right, go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Naruto and then um, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Mm, tell hold us up, about hold that. Hold up. Yeah, it's good. Yep, that's what I'm playing. No, that's dude, true. tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, explain. Are you enjoying Digimon? Exactly, exactly. Hmm? Are you enjoying oh, Digimon? Enjoy and, uh, yeah. yeah, I already got 13 hours in Digimon. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> what I mean. Like... Talk about it. All right, 13 hours oh, in Digimon. Okay, okay. Talk about it. <laughs> all right. So, you know how JRPGs is no, like, English voice acting? Oh no! You reading all of the talk? It, it, it's a lot. It's like a lot of right. It's like a lot of reading. Like oh reading man! Oh man! It's like playing. Then, everybody's going to the rapture. No, nah, that's like yeah, reading the book. Just this, this, this game is like Pokemon. That's why it's good. That's why it's good. Like, that's awesome. Now, it's not worth sixty dollars though on mm. PlayStation Four, but hold up, hold up. It is worth forty. Wait, so you hold up? So Digimon Cyber Cyber what is it called? Cyber Sloop. Cyber Sloop. So it's not yep. worth sixty. No. What sad? Why, like, no, no. Hold up. Why? Why do you say that? Because, <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's feel like a mobile game. All right, you thank buy... you. That's what. Yeah, it feel like a mobile game. 
So you right. So you just answered my question because uh, listen, everybody have their own opinions. That's what's so beautiful about an opinion. Because I had one friend who was saying that uh, Digimon is the best game out, out right now, and I'm trying to figure out how. That's all. That's <laughs> I want to know. Like, all okay, right, you know how you would, uh, you know how Yu-Gi-Oh, you would hit Yu-Gi-Oh on what a, a handheld, right? Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh sitting on your couch playing on the PS4. <laughs> he right. That's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. But pe- you know what? People playing Final Fantasy VII, the PS1 version on the PS4. So I ain't gonna complain. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a turn-based game, it, should, it yeah, needs to be on the handheld. Okay. Listen, whatever you want to play, it's great. It's fine. But the <laughs> ultimate uh, number four though. Like, how do you, um, you liking that? Yeah. Man. I wish it was better graphics, crazy. but. For real? It's animated. Better graphics. Yeah, I thought it looked yeah, amazing. Graphics. Yeah. Nah. All <laughs> snap. Oh man, I can tell you a graphics are just like me. Oh. Now, listen, I kind of eased up on that a little bit. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Graphics. We're going to get to that topic of the show, fresh. But <laughs> let me All say right. this. Let me say this. You're playing Cyber Sooth and and you're playing uh, Naruto, and you're enjoying Naruto. them. If you were to give like a quick second um, review, um, like from you know one out of five. Uh, uh, rate both games for us. Alright. Digimon is a five. Because that game can just go on forever. It's over. And I got a um, new game plus. Now, oh. So I'll give it a um, I'll give it a four out of five. Just because okay. the story the story mode is like, they don't use like animation, they use like slideshow. Oh! You know, like a picture. What, lazy? Like a picture. Yeah, like yeah. when they do do the animation, they ain't gonna lie. It's cool. Wow. Let me say this about that. Let me say this about Naruto. I think if you watched all the shows, all the episodes, you wouldn't mind the slideshow because you're like, I know what happened. What they're gonna replay the episode? Yeah, I, I don't watch it. Yeah, see, that's why I probably think you're giving it a lower. Um, see, I used to be a Naruto like like adamant fan, right? I used to watch all the episodes in Japanese and watch it all, and I felt off it because man, um, Shabuden, man, at the Gara, I ain't gonna say it. That might be a spoiler, but anyway. I felt off it, and I'm trying to get back in it, but I felt off it. I ain't gonna lie. But okay, Digimon is a five out of five for you. Naruto is a four out of five. Four um, five. that's cool. That's cool. Fresh, what are you playing? What am I playing right now? Um, voiceover on. I'm still... Voiceover off. Siri? What's no, man. Name? Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know y'all was gonna hear that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's cool. No, um, what have I been playing? I'm trying to get through uh, Tomb Raider. Um, the original 2013 one. On PS4. Yeah, on PS4. I love that game. Mm. Um, what? Do, uh, I'm playing Firewatch, and I'm playing uh, what I just got? Dying Light, Dying Light Enhanced Edition. Wow, uh, is it man, nice? Man, man, look, I never played Dying Light. I never, I never touched Dying Light at all. People say I'm mm. surprised, like, oh, you never played Dying Light? Like, no, nah, like, it, people yeah, me were so surprised. And oh, you haven't played it either? Yeah. See, I was like that. Like, it came out last year, and like the middle, of the, like this time, in the beginning of the year. Man, look, I never touched it. Now I'm glad I didn't touch it because I have this whole entire world. I got the 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 campaign, and I had the following to play. I, I must say this right now. Mm. I, listen, I know we said we're gonna talk about graphics later. I ain't gonna talk about it. But look, Dying Light is a very good game. Yo, raw. When you so when you was talking about buying it, I see why. That's all mm. I'm saying with that. Mm. Um, of course, it don't Raiders, make you dizzy. No, it don't make me dizzy at all, man. It <laughs> don't make me this dizzy. Game is fire. That game, game makes me dizzy. That's why I don't want to get it. Oh, this game is fire. Hold on, um, hold on. Wait, wait. Pixel, you played it? I played the demo for. And I it made it. you dizzy. Let me well, say this about the demo. Yet. I actually enjoyed the demo, but with freshest validation that is nice, I might have to check it's it out. Nice. Yo, um, and when they say enhanced edition, look, the graphics. Or hey, I, I pro- hey, Look, that's sorry. the next topic. We're almost there. We're almost all right, there. All right. Um, all right. So yes, yeah, so I'm playing that. I'm playing Firewatch. Firewatch. Look, I'm. Th- I got gameplays of Firewatch on my channel. Um, mm. yeah, stay tuned for more of them. If you subscribe to my channel, if you want to see more uh, Firewatch gameplay, it's mm-hmm. exclusive, man. It's crazy. Firewatch is very good. What's your very channel good story so far? Uh, Prince the Gamer. Um, okay. with, a, with an A instead of an E. And I'm yeah, gonna have all this in the description. Yeah, so I'm playing those three games so far, and um, I'm enjoying them. And uh, I get awesome. well, Tomb Raider. We already know it's good, so I ain't even gonna get at a score. It's all it's it's already in the. Nah, you gotta give it. You gotta give. You gotta give it a score. If it's all right, well, 
Yeah, you gotta give it a score. <laughs> right, I gotta give it a score. A score from one mm-hmm. from rated from one to ten. Listen, I'm gonna say this. I give Tomb Raider a nine point five. Definitely. Well, man, a one out of five, bro. Stay with everyone else's. Nah, nah. Yes, man, I, you have oh, to. I, had, I gotta get it at nine point five, man. Come on, now. Let me say this. Look, if, you deserved... give it, it, if you don't give it, if you don't give Tomb Raider a nine point five, if you don't give it a nine point five, play the new one, Rise of the Tomb Raider. That junk is definitely a eleven. <laughs> <laughs> It is oh, the best game uh, on Xbox. No, 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 no. Listen, re- listen I ain't even going to say it because it's about graphics. I ain't even going to talk about that. But the reason why I give it a 9.5 is because everybody don't look like her. Like, bro, it's it. Yeah, you heard oh, that. Look, look, look. Okay, let me, let me, let me, you know what I mean. All right, anyway, yeah, I'm going to tell you. Me. All right, Firewatch, Firewatch is a 10. And, oh. uh, yeah, Dying Light is right. a 10. Definitely. Oh, what no. About? What is Firewatch about? Explain Firewatch. Explain Firewatch. So basically, you are a fire watchman. You you know what fire watchers are, right? They basically watch fire forces. So you this guy, uh, something happens to you know your relationship with you and your wife. Um, they they explain how y'all met. And whoa, like, whoa, whoa, this is spoiler territory. You know, all right, I, no, okay, I'll tell you, look, look, So basically, you're a fire watchman. You gotta. It's look. Basically, you walking around with this walkie-talkie, and you talking to this woman, and. You you going through the forest doing your job and you know cutting trees down and making sure you know kids stay out of the uh you know forest doing crazy stuff like fireworks and things like that. Um, while you on your journey, you you building up your relationship with this woman on your walkie talkie, and it's up to you to decide the the relationship on how you want to go with it. It's hmm. very interesting. I never seen nothing like this before. Like so when it comes to story similar. dialogue, it's basic. It's basically people call it a walking simulator. But I'm not gonna lie. I was look, gonna say that, but if, yeah, I was about to say a cheating on your wife simulator. I know. No, no, no. You don't cheat on you. Oh, whoa, whoa. But I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't okay. Say nothing about cheating. Okay. It ain't like that. But uh, look, if you're not, if you just a cliche gamer, you ain't gonna like this game. But if you are a cliche, uh, uh, cl- I don't know. But if if you both, I don't know. Like if you just like Call of Duty and you wanna play, you wanna play Firewatch. I'm not saying you're not gonna enjoy Firewatch. You might want to give other games a chance because of Firewatch. This might be a game changer if you are, a, um, you know, a typical gamer. If you understand, basically, what I'm it might it might change your change your around. Like basically, your dialogue, basically, if you don't like the Order eighteen eighty six or Beyond, what it's called, Beyond Fresh Two Souls. Yeah, really, yeah. yeah. This, you probably ain't gonna will, get it. Um, change your mind. No, oh Firewatch really? Game, It'll change Firewatch your mind. Would change your mind. Oh. Firewatch would change your mind about games like yeah. that. Seriously. Certain oh. games, like you know Minecraft, right? I never liked Minecraft, but I played oh, no. Creator first. I think Minecraft I played... looked like, like dog poop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, we got some creator. viewers that might like Minecraft, okay? I respect that. I respect it. You ever, you ever play Creativeverse? It's Minecraft with better graphics. Creativeverse on PC? Wait, what? Yeah, on PC. Um, First of all, yeah, better graphics. I don't really play my PC that much, so console gamer for life. Anyway, um, <laughs> what I've been playing, what I've been playing is actually um, an old game, um, Battlefield Hardline. I've been trying to get the series. I I, I don't know if you guys have been um, keeping up with me on that front. I've been throwing out episode one, episode two. Like I'm doing it in like TV quality production, you know. I, the reason I'm doing this because I'm like in my head, like I gotta share this. My cousin, I was talking to him. He was like, share what you're playing, and that's what I tell first. Share what you're playing. That's why I'm um, adamant about you continuing continuing your playthroughs fresh continue doing that but uh yeah um i'm playing um battlefront i say battlefront battlefield hardline and the story on there is man uh five out of five right now for me right like the story of course someone might say it's just a generic cop you know um prediction you could you predict whatever from a mile away i'm enjoying myself and i'm not saying i'm a hard man to please i'm just I'm just keen on looking at um, something different than someone next to me and saying and seeing the good in it. You know, I'm someone who can look at right. the Order 1886 and say, wow, the detail that they put into this game. Like, people like, there's no game in that game. Boy, I'd rather walk around in the Order for 15 minutes hearing what people are saying and stuff than actually shoot a gun sometimes. And I feel that way yeah. about a lot of games. Like, um, 
you know, all these shooter type games like Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, me and Fresh finished that story. Like amazing. Those moments when you're not shooting are moments to grab the player. Um, and I'm one of those gamers that I'm not going to judge it every, how everyone else is going to judge it. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to see the good in it and I'm going to try to see why that developer did it. Cause these developers make these games for years and months and weeks and like, why, why not? try to see it from their perspective because once i started playing watchdogs the way ubisoft intended the game to be played i started enjoying it more like i was playing it like red the Auto, you know what i mean like oh i need a car and where's yeah. my garage and this that and the other like Watch Dogs is supposed to be played differently but anyway um that's how I, that's how I see uh, games and um, with Battlefront. I keep calling it Battlefront, Battlefield Hardlines. The story, oh uh, man, like I'm gonna I'm gonna continue posting the series on my channel, and I hope you guys uh, check it out. But um, trying to post three episodes today. I'm on episode four. Um, but yeah, I want to share this story. This story is is great. But getting off of that. All right, um, my backlog, and I want to hear you guys' backlog too. Like, is there a, a lot of games that you guys have not finished, or are you almost done your backlog? Pixel, say something. Hold up, hold up. What, what, fresh? Right, so, no, no, I'm saying, hold up, before, hold up, hold up, we, hold up, y'all, y'all moved on already? Uh, no, I'm just about to say we all talked about what we're playing. Now I want to ask you how your backlog is doing. Is it fat? Is it skinny? Oh, all right. No, I, I just, listen. I just wanted to add this in there. Well, you know, when you were talking about uh, not shooting like that, that's why I liked L.A. Noir because it mm. wasn't that much shooting. So, yeah. To, and uh, the dialogue and stuff like that. So when you started shooting, it felt good. That's yes, what exactly. That's, that's how Mass Effect One was. Mass Effect One, you you really wasn't shooting and fighting a lot, but when you did get into those encounters, oh man, was it epic! You couldn't wait. But uh, yeah, going mm. off, getting off of that, um, yeah, Pixels, how's your backlog? <sighs> You want to know the games that I have? I just want to know how's games. your backlog. It's a lot. I have like a Dang. over 60. Yeah. No good. 60. No good. I That's mean, normal. I get everything, so it's not like... Let me say this. You gotta. Let me say this. I told this to first. We have to start finishing our games. Uncharted Four is coming yeah. out. The Division is coming out. Destiny Two next year and later this year. We have. Um. Look, look. I'm sorry, Fresh. But I know y'all joked about Xbox not having no games, but I don't know if y'all seen my latest Quantum Break video. Dude, we have to we have to support that game, bro. I'm sorry, I'm we have that. we have to because the thing they're doing with that game, oh man, it's it's, it's revolutionary. They, they're having like TV show episodes after every act, and it's not a TV show yeah. that plays every Sunday or Monday on at night. It's like in the game, you know and. I, I don't know, man. Like it might just be a one-off thing after you've done it, but we got to support that kind of thinking. And hopefully, with that being said, hopefully Microsoft releases an Xbox One Slim this E3 because if they don't, yeah. it's going to be hard for me to jump in a fat box Xbox One, man. Those things look like VCRs. <laughs> I don't want to jump in something like that. I want I want a skinny, oh, you bro. Have one Xbox. I actually don't. I haven't dived into uh, Xbox yet, bro. I well, look, I don't, used to be Xbox all the way. Just wait. Yeah, I it's want a slim, bro. Sweet. Just think about it. The slim Xbox One, everybody, their grandma. That's how it was last year, right? Like, the slim 360 yeah. came out, and everybody yeah, was like, oh. Yeah, exactly. I'll exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but first, yeah, you're back, look, bro. We got to finish these games. Luck. Yeah. No, no. Speaking of finishing them games, I just I I beat a couple indie games and I beat mm, uh, good, I, good. Beat, I just beat Wolfenstein. You know, yeah. I, I beat Black Ops Three. Mm -hmm. Wolfenstein was amazing. Yeah, which that one? Amazing. New um, Blood? I mean, Old Blood or uh, the New I didn't Order? I played Old Blood. Yeah, I played the New Order. That was a great old, game. Old Blood is pretty good too, Fresh. You got to jump on that. It yeah, was I'm, it was yeah, pretty I'm good. Jump into that. Yes, sir. Uh, what else did I beat? I beat something else. Can't remember, but my backlog. Um. It's it's going down. It's okay, going good. Down. Not, good. Not free, not frequent. But yeah. It's it's going down pretty smoothly, like mm. uh, like normally. Yes. You know? So, um, I'm getting ready for you know t these new 2016 games coming. Got up. to. You uh, got to. Yeah, I'm definitely getting ready for that. So, cause I'm not yeah. gonna. Need, that's why I beat Wolfenstein and some of these other games because mm. I ain't gonna have time to go back. That's I right. I want, I want to bring them in 2017. And, and, and you know what's yeah, unfair. <laughs> You brought a lot of twenty fifteen games into twenty sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. No good. Yeah. Well, that's that's okay, man. That's okay. Let me say this though. A new come out. That's like 
Yeah, when something new right. comes out, you want to mess with it. Because, like I said, the division comes out the day before my birthday, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, I got to beat these games. Yeah. But I want to say this about uh, my backlog. I've been finishing games also. Um, I finished um, Black Ops 3, like I said. I beat the uh, Wolfenstein, the Old Blood. And I finished... Um, what else I did? What else I did this year? Oh, Sniper Elite 3, which is a very old game. But I bought it... Um, I bought it last year in December, so it wasn't like I bought it and then three years later beat it. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. What else? What else word was there? Um, I can't think of it right now, but my backlog is going down surely, but um, how you say it, fresh? Surely, but sh sure. How you say it? Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, my backlog is going down too. And like I said, yeah. to end it off, you know, to end this section off. You got to beat your games. You got to finish it because new games are coming and we don't want to mm -hmm. look. Let me say this. Who want to still be on their old games when games like um, what's that one game? Capcom kept delaying fresh um, below d d dark below. Or something. Oh, Mighty number nine. No, nah, no. Nah. Uh, dark below that night game that was oh, kind of like dark. Down I mean, below, that yeah. That game supposed to come out though. I know though. Oh, deep down, oh. yeah, deep, deep down. down. Oh, that, they, the first they said they uh they was coming out, man. Well, I thought the graphics was gonna be just like that. I saw hmm. a picture, man, it looked nothing like it. But oh. it, it could be some false game. Alpha, play. it might be but, alpha. Uh, alpha, alpha. Yeah, it might be alpha. But um, hmm. yeah, deep down, man, that man since the it, PS before the yeah. PS4 came, they announced that game. And I think Sad. talking about graphics, they we can move in. Plus. <laughs> Talking about graphics on that subject, I think we can move into our uh, fresh. You know what time it is? Is it the topic of the well, topic of the show? We already did it. No, it's the topic. <laughs> we, oh my goodness! We Do promise viewers. We, he, he, look, it, it's time for the topic of the show. Um, but topic of the show. But before we go into that, if you guys stuck with us this far, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more gaming news. Um, and 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 us and us just you know being here, doing our thing, be a part of this journey, support us in this. Um, support us. We're gonna move on to the topic of the show. Uh, topic of the show is does graphics make a game more realistic um we're gonna we're gonna uh restart the timer I'm trying to start it I'm trying to um all right here it is okay does graphics make a game more realistic and we talked about tumor and we talked about firewatch and let me say this about firewatch all right the graphics are good but it doesn't look realistic my whole thing is detail and fresh i want you to uh, uh start that off it's all about detail over graphics and fresh tell the people what we mean about detail what you mean oh my goodness you said <laughs> <me>. <laughs> uh, what we mean about detail i don't know like you mean like well, like well as far as that like the division man like that is this gone and the whoa division, that's that's the definition of you know you, you know undetailed if whoa but let me say that no, 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 no. That's not a bad thing. It's not bad. Look, it is bad. It's okay. Are you are you meaning in? Are you meaning in Firewatch specifically? Or are you just saying? I'm just game? saying games. Look, right, the, does okay. graphics make a game really? Let's first round go around the okay. table. Let's go around the table and say yes or no. Does graphics make a game more realistic? Fresh. Yes. Of course. Yes, of course. No. Definitely. Oh my goodness! Let me, oh wait, let wait, me, wait, hold on, wait, me, wait, wait. Me. You said, you said, wait, wait. You said, does a gra You said, does graphics make the game realistic? Graphics? I said, does the graphics make a game more realistic? No. Like, if a game not. looks as good as Tomb Raider, but you can't, but no. you can't, um, let's say you walk past a car, you can't open a car door and check what's inside. You know. No. no. I'd rather have a game be, where I could walk yeah. past a car, open it, and check what's up inside than, yeah. like, some of these games, don't get me wrong, they look beautiful, all right? But the smallest thing, if it's not in it, it it's fake. Like, in yeah. the Division, we used that example a second ago. Um, in the Division... Okay, I, I can't. I can't take this. Someone got to turn that TV off because I, I'm hearing it. Hold on. I'm starting to hear it everywhere. Oh, it is, hold on. I got it. Hold on. I got it. It is really loud. I don't even know. I have headphones on, so I can't hear it. Uh, like who is watching it? Good. Who is watching that? <laughs> and which was watching? That's what I want to know. Hey, let me say this. Uh, it's okay. No, it's not. That's why oh, I had no. to stop. <laughs> 
Why are you well, fixing that? Video. Why are you fixing that? No, I didn't stop it. We're still here. Uh, viewers, thank you for sticking with us. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, going back to what I was saying, um, I'd rather have a game that's full of detail, like those small things. Like, Grand Theft Auto does a really good job of looking good and doing a lot of detail. Now, of course, you can't pump gas like Fresh wants, but who wants to pump gas? You don't need a game to be too realistic. Uh, no, look. Like I just said, wish you could sit down. Off cops. You can't turn off cops in real life. Cops will always be on you if you do something wrong. You're going to face the consequences. Uh, guess what, though? Guess what, though? Guess what? Some some games, you shoot, you shoot when no one can hear you. And cops just know where you're at. Like, there's a satellite aiming at yeah. your face. No, nah, man. See, that's why, if see, if you haven't played San Andreas, if you, if you played San Andreas in the previous GTAs, like, GTA 5 is, like, heaven right now when it comes to, like, you know, um, you know, that having those stars on you because I remember on Vice City, Vice City and San Andreas, as soon as you shot your gun or you punch somebody, like they punching you. They don't the cops don't get on them, but they they going they gonna kill you for some reason. For some mm. reason. Like I'm like the target of the whole entire why don't everybody else get chased? So when it comes to when it comes to that when it comes to GTA uh, GTA five does a good five, job like at they, doing detail yeah, and good looking job good. Because they have sensors, like, you know, cops looking for you instead of like yeah. always knowing where you are. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. I, I, they know the general area where you are. They don't know where you are, they just know the general area of uh, where you were reported. That's one thing Watch Dogs did a really, really good job in. As far as detail go, I know we bash on Watch Dogs a lot of about the sound and audio, like the gunshots sounded like BB guns. But um and, and guys if you just if you guys uh, of course, you know, I'm um, just letting you know uh Pixel had to step out for a second to fix something. He'll be back shortly. But um going back to uh what I was saying. Oh He's snap. Back. Hold on. Back. Pixel, you back? Yeah, is it better? Wow, oh, you sound a little it, low. It, you sound, you do sound a little low. How about now? Tell me when it's better. It's good. Better now. Okay. Go up a little bit higher. Yeah. Better. I right, go down. I hear something in the back. Oh, no, no, okay. go down a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hear something in the back. <laughs> Hello. Say something, um, Pixel. Say the cow jumped over the moon. The cow jumped over the moon. All right. Perfect. All right. Anyway. Uh. Like I said, we bash a lot about Watch Dogs, but the one thing Watch Dogs impressed me with is detail. Like, everybody in the city has a story. You can read it. Every single person in the city has a bio. And that's crazy to me. Like, the and detail in that game is crazy. Same. Yes, and it's, it's not, not the same. same it's always different. It's crazy now of course they may have two doctors walking in the same uh lane like he gets the sense of they both came off of work or something but uh like the detail in watchdogs blow me away also the fact that um they gotta pick up their phone to call the cops no satellite like gta you shoot somebody and then freaking the cops just like time to get them like no man Watch Dogs did it no, no, really some good. Do call the cops on GTA though. No, most of the time it's just like you shoot someone and boom, one star. Nah, Watch Dogs did a great job in doing the level, the 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 you know the cops uh, system um, as far as getting caught. You know, if you stop that yeah. phone call now, if you're a big fat bad guy, you know you have a vigilante bar and you have a hero bar or whatever. I think actually is it. Uh, a menace. I don't know what the bar is, but anyway, it's good or bad. If you are more on the good side, maybe one person might pick up the phone if you do something bad and say, "Hey, coppers." But if you, you know, um, are truly bad, everybody in, in the whole like area where you did the bad thing will pick up their phones and start calling the cops. And you, of course, you do an EMP blast to knock everybody's signal off. But I think that's just super cool, and that's why I'm excited about Watch Dogs too. Because if they could be that detailed in Watch Dogs One. I, I just can only imagine, and Watch Dogs 2 is rumored to be in San Francisco, so uh, I'm expecting, oh, Nice. yeah, I'm expecting California uh, weather, uh, but I don't know, more, a lot of games are in California and New York, speaking of New York, the division going back to that, first, we talked about the detail that the division lacks on, I want you to tell the people uh, what the division lacks on as far yeah, as we, detail. We, yeah, we aimed on this, you know, uh, I think in the last video, mm. um, as far as detail and um, the division, um, movement of snow, uh, mm. I think that's important in the game because it's always snow inside of the game. Always. Yeah. Everywhere you go, it's snow. So, like, 
things like that and things like you know opening opening the door i think i think you should be able to open up your tr uh, up a trunk to you know find a you know a weapon or something like that you know like I mean, you can close or, the door though yeah, Raw. you can close the door only in cover mode. You can't just yeah. close the door you, standing. You could close you know? the door standing. You bump into him. You got to bump into it, but that's not an appropriate way to close, the, close the door. Like Let me say this about closing the door. Closet. Let me say this about closing the door. In the E3 demo a long time ago, he closed the door with an animation. On here, he just stick his hand out and slide over that G. Like, yeah. if you try to do that in real life, you are not going to close the door. You're going to run your hand into the the door's side, you know? The, you know, yeah, you open the door. You're going to run your hand into that. If you, and if anything, that, you're going to open the door even wider if you do it like that. Like, the doors, yeah. the doors should act realistically. Now, they, if, if, if not that, they should do the animation they did in 2013. Like his hand should go up and close the door. Like, a little animation would not hurt anybody. Yeah, I think I think um the way the door closed, it didn't it didn't have that much and it don't have that, that much the impact, impact the that the twenty thirteen did. Like, yeah, yeah. So it was like and another thing like right here, um when you close the door, why won't snow fall off? Like it's snow it's snow on the car sometime too. And mm. another thing, um, why don't some of the doors some of the doors like that's open, they're open the same way. Why aren't them wide open? They can't all just be the same way. Like, I know people jumped out their cars and left the door wide open. It can't mm. just be in, at the same you know, lift. <laughs> all the doors. You know, you what I'm saying? Every, everybody <laughs> made sure they kind of closed their doors when the apocalypse happened. Yeah, come on but, now. But my whole thing about the division is I'm ex I'm still excited about it. Like, the little yeah. details that we want in these games, right? Um, the little mm. details that we want. Um they're 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 uh passable you know what i mean that we could we we, we we won't judge a game based off closing doors pixel all right mm -hmm. we're, we're we're going to we're going to look at a game and we're going to judge it fairly we're going to do it whatever but all i'm saying is does graphics make a game more realistic and i i i don't agree with that because graphics is just icing on the cake to pull you into the experience but if you got a yeah. game looking like minecraft and you could do you could you could you could you could get a family and your family can grow up to be old and die or you could build a house and you can um you could you know buy a gun and it, another thing about uh the division I, before I jump off it completely like why well, you can't shoot the pedestrians this is a rated M game you know that kind of detail is retarded you yeah, can't no, shoot no, pedestrians no. man that's why I killed one no, nah, you didn't kill a pedestrian. You must have. You it must have been a mistake that you killed a pedestrian walking through a mud. I can't say too much about it because I'm getting it twice. No, the division's good. Division, look, yeah, the division is a great game. Like, I'm like a, yeah, I'm gonna have to check that. I'm gonna have to check if we can shoot pedestrians because yeah. I just believe no, no, fresh no, saying. No, because we was talking about you, that. No, remember we? I, yeah, I know we were, but I never. I never actually shot at a pedestrian because I'm just a good guy in games. All right, no, but you, I tried, yeah, I definitely tried shooting a couple of the them. The bullets went through. Like, yeah, def the bullets went through. It just was running around. You can't, look, there, there's no blood in the game. You know, things like that. It should um, be rated T. No blood. Some people don't game. like blood in games, and that's okay. Like, you don't have to turn it on and off. I guess it's good for people like that. You know what I'm saying so. Watchdogs don't have blood either. You know so. Yeah, no. I wish they had. I don't I mean, think they had blood. I wish they did though. They don't have blood in their game. Hey, um, game, so uh, Pixel, turn like your mic up know. just a little bit. Just, just like. Yeah, yeah, turn your mic up. Because I yeah, want to make sure I'm, I'm capping your voice. Yeah, but I want to con uh, conclude um, on this uh, right here. When I'm saying what, what Raw said, um, graphics doesn't make a uh, game realistic. I mm. think, um, I think detail. I think freedom. Is what we need in these video games to, you know, have yes. detail. Yes. Freedom is the freedom is the um, the, the 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 key when it mm. comes to gaming. When you, if you want to have detail, freedom. That's that's one word right there. Freedom. That's mm. what you got to write down your drawing board. If you want to make a game all about detail, just just write down freedom. That's yeah. it. Yeah. The, the, the do things that that I can do in person. I want to do. In a video game, blows my mind to you know walk up to a light switch and you know and uh, turn a light on and off with my finger or a point and click doesn't matter you know. I <laughs> know right? It's uh, crazy. The smallest know, things blow your mind. Saying. The smallest things blow my mind. Um, 
you know, certain things like that. Like y'all get the point. Uh, the only thing that I uh, prefer graphics um, is emotion. That's right there. Like you can't have a game looking like Minecraft and the emotion is like not even smooth. Graphics make I think graphics makes the game long as as long as the game is smooth at the end of the day it's good but graphics makes everything feel more immersive because you have uh emotion you have you know people you know like they you know straining and stuff like that you can actually feel the way they feel when it's mm. like you know realistic so that's why I kind of I'm not saying I prefer graphics over detail I actually prefer detail over graphics definitely hands down okay that's my, Pixel. my opinion. So what you say about graphics versus uh, if it does it does graphics make a game more realistic? Does it matter to you? Graphics matter. If you're gonna pay that price, graphics should matter. <laughs> that's a that's something we talked on last week. Fresh um, games should cost a hundred dollars if they look like the division, but games should also cost uh, forty dollars if they looking like Minecraft. Um, like Firewatch should cost forty up high, not no sixty. A game like that. Um, no, Firewatch is twenty dollars. Oh, that's even better. And my whole thing yeah. is, my whole thing is games like The Witcher Three. You know what I mean? They do graphics in detail really well. Um, and, and but you know that game, hands down, hundred dollars, man. That game should have been a hundred dollars. That includes everything. Um, The Division. Mm -hmm. I'm look. I'm gonna announce this here. The Division. <laughs> Y'all, y'all have to buy that game at a hundred dollars, if not at all, because you're gonna get a skeleton of a game if you don't buy it for a hundred dollars. It's like Destiny. If you bought Destiny without buying the big boy version of it, like the it, at the time it was eighty nine ver eighty nine dollars. Um, if you didn't buy the eighty nine dollar version of Destiny, then you got the skeleton, all right, of Destiny. And even though Destiny. Okay, um, eject off the podcast. Hold on, where's the button? I mean, <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh -huh, no. no, it's over. No. But all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, you have to be willing to pay what what you need for these games. These games aren't sixty dollars anymore, man. Like the skeleton of them are sixty dollars, but like these games aren't sixty dollars anymore, and I, that's okay. I think we're moving towards okay. a, a, a era where games are going to try to give us more. And I think a lot of people yeah. are looking at that. I think Grand Theft Auto 6 wants that drop. I think look, if any game can do it, if any game can be bold enough to do it, that's going to be Rockstar, right? Like, Rockstar is going to be like, okay, Grand Theft Auto 6, I'll Red Dead 2. Um, here, it's a $100 game. Oh, where's the $60 version? Oh, we don't have that. It's a $100 flat. And I bet you, man, it'll sell. It'll sell greatly. All yeah. DLC... Every single thing they ever come up with free, like right now with Grand Theft Auto 5, like if you don't have money on that game, you are not having fun. Um, I think it, if that game was $100 out the box, I bet you like they, they would have started every, or all the missions would have gave you more money, you know? All the missions yeah. would have gave you more money and, and they would get their, they would get their money trying to sell a $100 version of Grand Theft Auto. That's how they would get their money. I think at the end of the day, um, Rockstar could pull the trigger and do it. Um, CD Project, uh, CD Project Red, even though they did a good job with The Witcher, I don't think they could do it. I don't think they can do it because of the no. fact that a lot of people don't know them like they do Rockstar. Yeah, Rockstar build actually built their own empire as far as mm -hmm. you know, popularity and stuff like that. So they they known, definitely known. Yeah, Which definitely they can pull that off. They could, I think they could, and I don't think people will cry. I think people will be at first like, what the heck? I can't buy Grand Theft Auto 6 or uh, Red Dead 2 for $60. And this isn't, this isn't, um, this isn't topic of the show. Topic of the show was, was, does graphics matter? Does graphics, cause if graphics really matter, guys, mm -hmm. let's just, let's just say it. Get the elephant out the room. Just Can go I buy a PC. Just go buy a PC. Uh, yeah, no, hold on. I'm no, just saying. That's what I wanted to say about Dying Light, though. Well, um, this enhanced edition, because uh, yeah. this new this new DLC, the following that they added on the Dying Light uh, DLC, they 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 upraised the graphics. And I'm mm. saying this right now, like even uh, you go in Jeremy's channel, I'm um, Gamer 2323. Shout out to him. Uh, Shout out. Oh, he was playing it, yeah. um, and I was watching his gameplay too as well, because I wanted to see what he thought about it. And he was right, like he actually brought it to my attention, like. This game is so beautiful. I mean, this is honestly like I, I, I look. I'm not lying about this, uh, Raw. This is the best looking game I played 
on my oh, PS4 snap. so far. Tomb Raider. This is the best looking. This game. Listen, listen. No, I'm sorry. Look, this is the best looking game. That well, I because on my Tomb Raider's PS4. NPCs don't look right. Not even the NPCs. I mean, like, <laughs> I promise you, bro. This game look like this. Look, this game. This pit. Look, Dying Light Enhanced Edition feels like I'm playing a PC game. If the only like reason I'm, I'm not going to give you that, the only reason I'm not going to give you that is because, okay, 60 frames per second, all right? That's PC games yeah. to me. Yeah, you never play no PC games, Yeah. Man. No, no, listen. No, I'm talking about as far as looks. Okay. As, as far as looks. Okay. Yeah, we talking about graphics. We ain't talking about, you know, frame rate. I think, I think, I frame, think frame rate is I, more I, I important than graphics. I think they did the frame rate, though. I think they did. I don't think they did it for 60. Vision. They make, I think, no, I think, I think it's did. just a solid 30. I think it's a solid 30. That op uh, open world game in 60, the only game I know that does that on console, an uh, open world game that runs in 60 is Metal Gear Solid 5. That's the only game I know that's running at 60. And that's another game. No, that no, The Last of Us, hold up. The Last of Us is not open world. I just said the only open world game on console that I know that's doing 1080p 60 on console is Metal Gear. And the crazy thing is they're doing, they're doing um, Metal Gear... Uh, at, at 1080p 60 also on Xbox One. Is it? Minecraft runs at 60 though. Minecraft, stop. All right. Open world. It's open world. You're right. You're right. But I don't know about that. So no, that's, that's, that's what I mean. That you make. Ugh. What? What? That one game that my, uh, Sony said on um, PSX um, is like a Minecraft clone. Y'all, y'all remember that? You, you, you like, look, you look like a troll with a hammer. Oh, uh, you talking about Ark? No. Oh no, no, oh the forest, the forest. No, like forest. he jumps through portals and stuff. Is that what it's called? Oh, uh, you talking about Matt? Not Matterfall. Uh, you talking about? I know, I know, I know what game you are talking about. Yeah, it was a that game was, where yeah. it's like a Minecraft clone and for yeah. a place mm -hmm. because you gotta understand, like he's right? He's going to different worlds and stuff. Like yeah, that. exactly, yeah, exactly. Portals. See, Microsoft cool. owns Minecraft now, right? Oh, Microsoft oh, owns oh, Minecraft. Oh. Exactly. You go through yeah. portals, right? And it's like other people portals. Yeah. Hey, turn yeah. your mic up a little bit. I want to make sure I hear you, uh, Pixel. Turn your mic up a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that game's on PC. Oh, d d oh, for real? No. I think that game is... I'm going to tell you the name on Twitter. I know that game's on PC. Okay. Yeah, I know that game. It um, looks like Minecraft, right? Yeah, and you can, like, jump through portals and stuff. Yep. All right. Well, shoot. It might be early yeah, access. Like... It might right, be early cool. access. And what y'all think about this old H1Z1 um, splitting in two two games on PS4? What y'all think about it? It's too late. It's too late for that. I say you buy it now. Or you should have already bought it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's too late for that. There's too many games coming out like the Division. I don't got time to be um, farming and grinding on H1Z1. It should have came <laughs> out when they said it was. You know, mm. when they kept teasing it. Should have. What about DayZ? That game's still not out. And they announced it like on PS. No. PS. That That's in the same boat as H1Z1. Go. Yeah. H1Z1. <laughs> Daisy. I wouldn't put them two in the same category. I don't mm. know, but it seems like people always do though. Like H1Z1 and Daisy, I feel like they do fit in the same category though. Because people play every Z1 time somebody brings either or, yeah. I don't know. Man, all I gotta say is. These games coming out, and just an overview of what we talked about, all right? And I'm just going to say, finish your games, everybody, it's because the games are coming, all right? You got to finish them. got to finish your games. Um, about uh, the whole thing about, uh, man, what was the first part? <laughs> what was the first part first? <laughs> it was so long ago, it feels. No, no, oh, yeah, about, uh, uh, yeah, I guess that holds hands with the backlog, right? Like, um, the announcement of, of the sequels and stuff. Like we already talked about our most anticipated game, but I will I want to um um always revisit that. Like, is your most anticipated game still your most anticipated game, Fresh? Because you said your most anticipated game was Firewatch last episode. No, I said the Last Guardian. Remember? You did? Yeah, I said the Last Guardian because uh because I already know Uncharted Four is going to be great. Remember? Uh, oh, okay, okay. So Last Guardian is Last Guardian still your most anticipated game? I don't know, man. <laughs> Look, I, I was actually looking at uh, some gameplay. Look, of uh, Uncharted Four. You know, just looking at people's reactions and stuff like that. You know how you just want to see what people's reactions like. It makes you feel like, yeah, this game gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. um, I, Uncharted Four, man. 
But then I had I saw some on Twitter yesterday saying that I listen. This is just a rumor that the game could be delayed again because he was in a mocap suit. Oh no! Time. So I mean, I look. I don't know. Just because he was in a mocap suit doesn't mean that it's going to be delayed again. They probably want to add some finishing touches on there with the animation or something. No, like I can that. see it being it delayed until probably probably September. Yeah, yeah I, I see it de- getting delayed till fall. Yeah. yeah, it might get delayed till fall. I, mm-hmm. If it does, but if that game doesn't sad. come out this year, if it doesn't come out this year, all I gotta say is it's dead it's over. in a lot of people's minds. Over. Yeah, um, my most anticipated game. Um, last last talk, I think I talked about what what, what was mine? Fresh? Do you remember? You said that yours was uh. Hold up! You said that I think you said yours was Horizon. I think Horizon was it Horizon? Mm-mm. Something that's coming out, real. I think coming. Oh, no man's sky. No man's sky. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's what my. It's still my most anticipated game. Is still No Man's Sky, but I'm saying I'm I'm sorry, man. Like it snuck up on me. I forgot Mirror's Edge uh, Catalyst is coming out. And let me say this about Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge, man. I played it on 360. Man, dude, that's. That was my game, man. Like, ah, oh, man, I replayed that game over and over and over and over. I did all the time trials. I was on that G, like, Colin Moriarty on Mega Mind. I said Mega Mind, Mega Man. But uh, <laughs> it's good, yeah. man. Yeah, that's look. That's just, this exact reason why I got Dying Light is because I fell in love with Mirror's Edge. Like, Mirror's Edge, bro. Like, every time I think about that game, it brings me right back to those times, man. Like. The good times, the good times, like the good gaming days. I'm not saying mm. that this, this this gaming generation is like you know bad, but it felt like that 360 era like was at its best. Like mm. it, it, we had tons of games to play, and Mirror's Edge is one of those games that I always remember, man. Like, and that's why I got Dying Light because it, it reminded me that that parkour stuff, like seriously, is is mm. it's good, man. Pixel Things like that. Turn, I'm surprised it turns out great it. though. Let me let me let Pixel get in here. Well, what's your most anticipated game? Since we we didn't have you in an episode last year. I mean, last week, last year. It's Horizon now since the Division's about to come out. But Ooh. yeah, probably the Horizon. So the Division was on, it used you to be that? your it used to be your most anticipated. Yeah, but it's already coming out. So no, nah, man. Some out. people you can still have that as your most anticipated game. You know. Yeah, but I played the beta, so... Oh, so you're not hyped no more. Not hold hyped up. No more. Hold up, hold up. For somebody that don't like Killzone, why why are you excited for Horizon to come out? <laughs> <laughs> because I think the real game need to realize they make horrible shooters. And this is where they need to be. Oh! oh. That actually is a good um, answer, Fresh. Yeah, but that is a good... Yeah, that's that's good still not good, man. That's not acceptable. Yeah. But anyway... <laughs> It's okay. Horizon is gonna, gonna be good. On multiplayer, and I was the only man in the map. Dude, you gotta. You should have been playing with us. So we made game modes and stuff, man. We made crazy stuff in Killzone. We made Killzone better than what it was. Yeah, Johnny about to get that back. We about to play that soon. Too. For real? Yeah. But and and Pixel, so, I'm gonna invite you to a party with my boys, and we're gonna we're gonna change your mind about Killzone. You're gonna be like, I can't oh, believe. Man. I said this on um, gaming gaming talk that I ain't like Killzone. Well, it might be it might be I was bad at first person shooters. Oh yeah, what's what's your favorite game mode or genre? Uh, third person adventure like The Division or that's um, Freshers too. Tomb Raider. And Tomb Raider, yeah. Hey, yeah, if, 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 like if, and Clank. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank. <sighs> yeah. Oh, oh it's... open world and it's perfect. Uh that's why yeah, yeah. I can't wait for uh what is it called? Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. no. That might no, be downgraded no. though, fresh. Yeah. I looked at the trailer yeah, from a year yeah. ago. Man, that game looked too good to be true, bro. Yeah, it looked too good to be true. And I'm gonna say this, yo, about Wildlands. Don't listen, don't fall into that. That these games like Rainbow Six and all like you got Rainbow Six out right now. Yeah, Rainbow it's a Six big good game by itself. Yeah. Why you? It's, it's not out? even big. Rainbow Six ain't even yeah. big. It's just good. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like as far that's a triple A title. That's yeah, but come on, title. man. Why? Fresh, what you were saying? No, I was saying like, how you gonna make? How you gonna make another open world game? You can't even get Siege right. Well, Siege. Serving, let me say this about Siege. Now. Siege is good. I, my whole thing about Siege is that like what they're doing 
is good. And what they advertised it as is good. Like, that game, I would love to watch people play it. Like, eSports and stuff. Like, that game does what it do really well. Um, the only thing I wish Siege had, right, was the zombie mode. And, and it'll fit so good. And if y'all haven't saw my zombies video for Siege, go check that out. Because... I explained in there that it would make sense, but it wouldn't make sense also because it's Tom Clancy. You know, they based off of their realism, but then we go look at the division and everybody's eating shotgun shots and bullet uh, bullet sponges. So now the realism is out the window. Put zombies in siege, you know, the cat's out of the bag. So anyway, I, boy, it's over. It will make sense, right? Like busting through the walls and stuff like the only reason I thought about that was one match, like the whole house looked like it got hit by like a, like a, like an atom bomb. Like the match was that intense, you know what I mean? That round was that intense. Th they had holes everywhere, you know. Like I was looking at it, and I was like, wow, if this had if this had the zombie mode, the house would look like this after every match, you know. So I think that would just be so cool, uh, for a siege to take on. But, um, yeah, Fresh, uh, Ubisoft need to chill out with all these games. They need to focus on one game, just like how we said with, uh, remember how you said, um, yeah, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Like, Assassin's Creed Unity is good. I know a lot of people is like, oh, no, it's bad. I was one of them. Y'all have to play Assassin's Creed Unity, finish it, and play Dead Kings, and do your change your mind about, um, Unity forever. But, um, yeah, they've rushed too much. They're rushing. They're rushing. Oh, so there you go. Um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. They should have not released Black Ops. They should have just focused. Like, these developers need to slow down. You know? They they get they put out good games. Hold up. Y'all still here with me, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. just listening. Oh, all right. Wow, y'all got quiet like a mug. I was like, dang, it's over. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, Advanced Warfare. Like, they should have not released Black Ops. They, these developers, you know? Like, I, first, we said it earlier, if these developers took five years on their games every year, then of course, we might not get a lot of games in the year. We might get four titles per year, but those four titles are going to be amazing, and we're going to know those franchises got five years on them, you know? Yeah, that's true, but you got to understand, like, these consoles don't last, you know, yeah, they, they only last, last like long. eight years, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they... These the companies like oh push out as many games you can so we can sell our product on the market you know they like it, it's ways around it that they can mm. do it but come on man everybody the the problem is that everybody completing their games and rushing through them so fast man it's not the developers fault like if it, listen I'm not saying like oh take be slow and stuff like that it ain't about being slow it's about taking your time with games and appreciating them because these developers put they you know not even not even they you know blood sweat and tears into it but they also put their money into it you know mm. they, they invest in the game so and, and, take your yeah. time with it and play you're right it. Yeah, actually what... play it instead of instead of like oh yeah i'm gonna beat this game before you yeah like cause, you know people like that man like yeah oh, i just want to yeah. do this for a review i I, just, mm. I, don't, I don't care about the story i just wanted to review it see like, that's the thing like that that's the thing. I wish those little casual gamers, those gamers that pick that p pick one game up and play that all the time. That's yeah. actually how every game should be treated. Every game should be treated on that level. Like that should be the only yeah. game you play. Because if you, you think sure, about yeah. it, if you think about it, these developers, they put all their time, money, and tears, and blood and sweat in these games, and we play them, and we never look back at them again. Like, but that's the thing. As gamers. We don't want to do that. We don't want to just stay on one game forever. We want to try new experiences and play new things. But I envy the um, c casual gamers, the ones who play one game only. Like, those games deserve own? that, you know? Y'all have digital yeah. games? Yeah, we yeah, have digital. Have digital. See, that, that, what you just said, you know how you said we get a game and then we pass on to the next? Anybody who got digital games know that. You know you're mm. taking it with your next generation. You know you know. Let me no man. I, I I they better let me take my freaking games to PS5 because if they don't, I'm gonna slap somebody. Um, I mean, my whole thing is whole backwards compatibility better work on PS5 because it's so big on Xbox One right now. Like people are about to start playing Red Dead Redemption on Xbox One. I I, I got a confession to make. I never played Red Dead Redemption, bro. Like I never what? played it. I never yeah. played it. I only saw it being played by my brother. So, 
Oh, man. Xbox One over there, like, yee doggy. And we over here on PS4 trying to jump on no, PS Now. No, no, no. Not, not a good, no, no, nothing against PS Now. PS Now actually works wonderfully. I just wish that my games from last gen can just be played on PS4. That's all no, I'm saying. No, no, look, look. Xbox has got to have some type of, you know, leeway when it comes to something. They don't have what? nothing. They can't lose everywhere? Like, they can't. Right, they can't. They gotta add something there to have to keep the fans where they at right now, or bring more <laughs> fans into, you know, their console. They they can't just leave it like that. They gotta add something. Cause PS4, when it comes to everything, share factory, sharing your videos right on cue and stuff like that. You, there's not ain't no complication that you gotta do just to share a video. Mm. Like, come on, man. Like it's it's PS4 is simply perfect when it comes to yeah. you know just being a gamer. Period. Mm. If you're a gamer, PlayStation 4 is definitely the console for you. Just no doubt about it. It's just, no, it's no. just facts. It's not me being a fanboy. It's yeah. just facts. And, and and that leads back to our first thing. Why did you get a PS4 over an Xbox One? And secretly, this is topic of the show low-key. Topic of the show was about graphics, but this is topic of the show low-key. Like, I got a PS4 first because I just wanted a stronger console. I, I'm not a graphics uh, slut. I ain't gonna say the other way. Uh, because I I, I, I like graphics. Than... <laughs> oh, anyway, anyway, I'm not I'm not like that, you know. But I wanted a stronger console this gen. If I was gonna have to drop money, a lot of money, I wanted to get the first. I wanted to get um the stronger console first. And PS4 proved to be the first. I mean, the stronger console over Xbox One. And um, of course, the pedigree Sony has with their with their, you know, uh, uh, games, games and their, uh, game hardware is amazing, right? But my reason was I wanted to get the stronger console first. Fresh, what was your reason briefly? No, no, no. Pixels and go. You got the floor, man. Cause I'm he already told us movie. that was the first thing I asked him, yeah, but I do want to hear pixel oh, again. Oh, nah. Pixel, if you yeah, were to, you, yeah. oh, nah. you mean I do it all over again? No man, no, no, yeah, I'm saying, like, like just, just, uh, well, you know, re you know, overview of recite, what you said. Recite, or what you, yeah. Recite, yeah. recycle. I mean, it's just like what he said: strongest console wins, and it's the cheapest. I mean, strongest it was the cheapest. cheapest. It was. But why pay more for less? That's that that cool. does make. I don't know why them Xbox did that. They come on, it's cheaper and it's stronger. That should be an automatic buy, you know. It, mm -hmm. Well, not no more. Mm -hmm. They're on par with the same price, but back in the day, PS4 was more um, expensive. No, I ain't gonna That's lie. True. Xbox would have came out with like. I said PS4 was more expensive. Yeah. Xbox One was more expensive. Sorry, sorry. If they came out cross by what, like console, like PC and Xbox, it'd make common sense to get Xbox. Now, that's actually what I said in my video, um, uh, my uh, Quantum Break video. Quantum Break is going to be the first game on Xbox that's going to have cross-buy and cross-save. Exactly. So, exactly. that's why I'm saying, y'all got, people out there listening, you got to support. Like, me and Fresh, we're hoping, we're just hoping and praying that Xbox releases uh, Slim, because that's our way in. Because if I can yeah. get a Slim Xbox One, I'm going to be set. Because that's what I want. I don't want to buy a fat Xbox One and then they say, hey, if Flip's coming out, I'm going to be mad as a mug. So remember, I remember I was talking about buying Quantum Break too. Like, mm -hmm. I was talking about that. You know, and that we got to support before. that. That that game is doing some crazy new stuff. And if we can support it and it could, it could ring some bells in the gaming industry, a lot of other yeah. games are going to step up their game. Um, but other than that, uh, Pixel, oh, yeah, you, um, yeah, I guess Fresh, tell yeah. us. Tell us why you picked the PS4 over Xbox One first. Well, actually, actually, I, I actually choose the Xbox One over PS4 because I seen Xbox One first. You know, like I don't know when they first revealed Xbox One, they revealed that first. When I saw it, I'm like, all right, well, it's, it's a big console, but it, it looked okay. You know, it was it was yeah. next gen. I wanted anything that was next gen. It didn't matter. But when I when I saw the PS4. Like, I saw the first, before I saw the PS4, they talked about the specs and all that on Xbox One and what's going on with that. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was some bull crap, but then I had to look at it in another way. Like, all right, well, they trying to do something, they up to something, something yeah. crazy, but they trying to restrict certain things. I don't know if it was because, like, they trying to be too professional. I looked at it not in a way like, oh, man, it's too, I looked at it in a kind of a good way. 
like mm. oh the way you gotta lock your games in and stuff like that maybe they knew something i didn't know so i yeah. was just walking in like that with an open mind so mm. but when they said about the ps4 that used game and stuff like that man it was over but not even just that just to look at just to look at the console that's the, honestly i got it because of the look of it and it was longer <laughs> that's it that Thank i know God. look 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 it's okay the the ps4 looks sexy man that's what oh. I'm saying. it looked good oh it's good it's good and, and, and before pretty, pretty we good. before we end off this uh uh podcast i just want to remind the people please um if you're still with us this far drop a light leave a comment mm-hmm. letting us know what console you play on does graphics make a game better aka more realistic uh tell us in the yeah. comment section and please support my boys channels fresh and pixels i'm gonna leave a con i'm gonna leave the link to their channels in the description below um and also check out uh subscribe here at my channel for more gaming talk episodes and just more stuff i do um my whole yes, thing sir. boys my yeah. the whole thing boys is i'm glad we're, we're doing this. We're gonna, we're gonna, like I said, viewers, we're gonna tr- get this out to you, uh, weekly. And if an emergency happen, I'll tweet it out. Follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna leave that in the connection. I mean, the description down there too. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let them know. I, I, I hold up. Uh, another reason why I did choose a PS4 is because of the, uh, my experience with PS3. Mm, All those great a big games thing. That I had on exclusives. Well, I knew like the, the exclusives, man. It keeps yeah. me here. Yes, indeed. It's strong at PlayStation, bro. <laughs> I, it, it, I think. Go ahead. You know when they had um, you know you said something about the digital games. You know Microsoft won't do that whole digital thing. Mm. I think for us going digital would have been better. Games would have been so much cheaper. Man, if games were just the cheaper, then you know Microsoft and them they could do that. Like, oh, buy the digital version of this game, and yeah, you will save ten dollars or whatever. Everybody yeah. in their grandma would buy digital. Oh, I heard yeah. a yawn. $50. I heard a yawn. No good. Fifty dollars for a uh, uh, come on, yeah, digital game. Oh yeah, that seems legit. Legit. But look, look. Yeah. I, I just want to thank you, Fresh. Thank you, Pixels. I'm gonna have to uh, end this now. Wrap this up. Wrap this up. You guys, stay tuned for more gaming talk episodes and more gaming opinions. And this has been Raw coming at you, Raw. Pieces. Pieces. That was a dull uh, ending. Why you, you just? It was unexpected. <laughs> I had to end it, man. My throat is killing me.